All right, now taking a look at the first hour of trading. This is an opening bell uh, segment here, specifically looking at the cryptos because I was unable to do that before. So let's jump into the pulse waves first and see what we got on the weekly. All right, on the weekly for the pulse waves, what I'm going to do, actually, give me just a second here. I thought I had it up and I don't. So just bear with me just for a second here and we will get it on and pop in. All right. In the meanwhile, I'm going to give you what we're doing right now in that space and then we can take it from there. Then we'll get into the pulse waves while that's booting up. All right. So across the board right now, uh, Litecoin is up 3.15 percent. Last trade is 62.98. We did go up as high as 64.86. All right. Uh, next, Bitcoin is down 0.52 percent. Last trade was at 43.16. Went as high as 43.40 before pulling back. Ethereum down 1.24 percent. Trading at 343.39. Last trade was 350.54. And let's see here. Ripple is down 1.97%. Trading at 19 cents. It went as high as 20 cents. Dash right now is down 1.65%. Trading at 356.04 after hitting 368.09. All right. And I missed someone. Who did I miss? Uh, oh, Steam. All right, Steam right now is, let's see, last chart was down 0.44%. Where is it now? Okay, now it's up 1.73%. Last trade was at 145, went as high as 155, and traded as low as 134. All right, and let's see who else. Oh, PIVX. Let me pull that one up real quick. Bear with me. Okay, last last was down 1.20%. Let's see what it is now. Okay, it's down 1.20%, trading at 291. When it's high, it's $3.10, the low is 281. So steam has been on the rise. Uh, let's see, looking at Veritasium. Uh, Veritasium right now, let's see here. Up 0.03%. Trading at 0.3001, went as high as 0.95, and as low as 0.10. All right, so that's where we are right now, looking at the Ether Delta. So it's, it's doing all right. Uh, keep in mind, too, as far as the post wave price triggers go, the Veritasium is still a work in progress trying to work some things out because that's priced in the ether delta so ah it's price in ethos so I'm, I'm working on something for that so it's a work in progress so what you see on that it should be showing the ether delta it's not in dollars like the other coins are it's just this one is listed in the ethers so when you're dealing with ethos you got to do the conversion factors blah 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 so like i said it's a work in progress all right, so what do we have then for the crypto space? Looking at our weekly report right now, expecting uh, a rally alert in the Veritasium. So that seems to be playing out a little bit. Um, showing some big money, some big money flowing into Steam. And let's see here, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dash, and Bitcoin are all in a parabolic bull state with strong locked in bullish momentum. Uh, PIVX is it's in a momentum um, bullish uh, configuration right now. Doesn't really have uh, a strong bull trend, but it's just in the bullish configuration. You just have momentum flowing into it right now that's causing it to you know move move a little bit higher. All right, uh, looking at our crash alerts, we only have one rally alert, and that was Veritasium. Veritasium is still kind of broken, so it has both rally and crash alerts. It's going to 
try to do something here, I guess. Uh, everything else is crash alerts. Got crash alerts across the board for the week. Steam, Ripple, PIVX, Dash, and Bitcoin. Litecoin does not have a rally alert or a crash alert, and neither does Ethereum. So we'll see if those play out or not. Again, remember, uh, the system sometimes leads the market three to five bars out. So if nothing manifests uh, this week on that, then you know we'll we'll take it from there. We trade what we see. Price triggers though have been just operating amazingly in the crypto space. Those of you who are subscribers to the weekly post wave price triggers know exactly what I'm talking about. And so that's pretty much it right now um, in the crypto space. I got a chart up of the GBTC. Uh, you can see that one is it's really running right now, and it looks like it wants to get to at least 800. So I'm thinking it's probably going to really shoot for 800. The only thing is, like I showed you down here, and this is the weekly, we got to deal with this uh, this gap down here. So at some point, it's going to come falling down. This one you trade at strong risk simply because it has no pre and extended hours trading, so you can't react you're at the mercy of the 930 opening bell unfortunately at least with some of the others there's pre-market and then there's extended hours trading so if the crypto space is on fire or crashing and burning you can you can react you got some time to react all right so with this one though it's not and it's a very expensive stock so you know it's on the pink sheets you know over the counter so Trade it as you will. I'd rather just track NVIDIA uh, because it's in that space. So is AMD. Uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, you can do what you want to do. Um, but like I said, it's at your own risk and discretion. Another thing to note, too, crude oil is down over a buck right now. So the hurricane situation down in uh, the Gulf is having the negative effect on the crude oil you would have thought that it would possibly catch up a little bit here you know but nope not happening uh that gas just a little bit but not a whole lot um probably you're probably seeing the biggest surge in the unleaded and i don't even know if you can trade there i haven't traded unleaded man since like what 2000, 2001, I guess. Yeah, I, I have not done too much in that one. That one's not as liquid either. That's one of the reasons why I don't fool with it. Uh, let me see if it's even here for TD Ameritrade, think or swim, if you can even trade that. They don't have all of the futures contracts. They got quite a few. Okay, yeah, there's natural gas... Okay, here we go. Here, here's your RBOB right here. RBOB. Okay, so it's forward slash RB for the RBOB. Let's take a look what RBOB is doing. All right, so on the weekly here, gasoline prices, you got, got a little breakout, but this is, you know, an area where you hit resistance and the market goes back down again. So we're going to see the same thing here. Keep in mind, this is just a hurricane thing, too. So, But the argument can be made that this is in a bullish configuration because your price action is taking place top side of the Kumo cloud. This is a weekly chart. So if you break it down to the daily, let's see what happened here. Yep. So uh, it's giving it all back. It's reversing after it topped out at 177. So now it's coming back down again. So I don't know. I mean, to each his own. I don't track it. I don't trade it. I'd rather play the uh, the crude oil futures. That's just my thing. I don't. I don't do Arbob. Never really have. I like Nat. I like I like Nat Gas better than Arbob. So Nat Gas and crude oil is usually what I, I fool with, but not the Arbob. So anyway, but this is your gasoline thing. So it popped up here mainly because of um, I almost said Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> For the, the hurricane thing going down, you can see the bottom um, right-hand side of the screen, Baytown, Texas, 
So a major refinery shut down in the wake of it. All Port of Houston facilities closed, blah, blah, blah. And here's your RBOB. So really, it's not really taking effect on these, but let's see. Maybe USO. That's more homegrown. Let's see what's going on with USO. Man. Nope. Down. Down, down, down. All right. So OIH. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Red. Everything's red. And this is these are daily bars. Everything is red. How about UCO? No. Red. Uh, oh, well. It's not helping. So it's not really happening. I don't know what they're talking about. There, there is no surge. It's happened, having the opposite effect. All right. So anyway, that's all I got on the uh, on the crypto space. Um, so not not a whole lot going on. There's a bunch of news and stuff, but um, I haven't had time to go over it. To be honest with you, not really looking too much at it. Um, but if time permits, maybe I'll hit it up a little bit later. Anyway, I just wanted to hit hit y'all with that real quick. Because I was getting a lot of questions about what my thoughts were in the crypto space, and I really didn't go into it on the pre-market post scan. So, because I started a little bit late, so I wanted to help them get it out before the markets open. All right. With that said, uh, remember postwaytrading.com and bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. And I'm out.